people we know and bodies that we know are have been uh, uh, taken by the Hamas terrorists and are being held in Gaza. We know this to be as part of the phenomena. And, and so really, we're not even sure to a full certainty the full number of people who were killed on uh, um, that October 7 massacre, people uh, raped, beheaded, uh, um, and, and, and really uh, terrible atrocities uh, are being committed. Um, what Israel does at the moment, we're standing um, at a point where we have still 133 um, uh, um, hostages being held by Hamas and the other terrorist groups in the Gaza Strip. Uh, just a word of caution also about that number, uh, um, which, is, which is really a, a, um, a, a, a number which guides us only to one thing. Israel recognizes and, uh, and declares someone as being a hostage held by Hamas only once there is positive information regarding that person. That means that people who we only believe um, were kidnapped um, but we don't yet have positive information, aren't yet considered uh, um, to be hostages. And so that number is uh, um, not final. Um, we're joined, uh, um, I'll leave the rest of, uh, um, of, of the introductory notes um, for a little bit later because uh, we've just been joined by, uh, um, by our guest for today, um, member of Crescent, Ariel Kalner. Um, what we're going to discuss with, uh, uh, with member of Crescent, Kalner, who, as you can see, is joining us uh, um, so kindly from uh, uh, from his way uh, uh, um, all over the country, um, doing great work, as I know he is. Um, we're going to discuss a different aspect of, of, of this war. Part of the uh, the war with the terrorist organizations is focused, obviously, on Gaza, on beating Hamas in the Gaza Strip. But an integral part of this war is also understanding the basic underlying factors that allowed it to happen. Um, within this, uh, um, the, the, the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs held already on the 4th of September, um, a, a really quite a, 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 an extensive conference on the discussion of 30 years since the Oslo Accords, um, what exactly those accords had, had brought, had they really brought about the peace that they were meant to uh, have brought, or, or, or did they bring about something else? Unfortunately, our, our, our conclusions were that the Oslo Accords had really failed in every field possible, um, if you just take into account that the terrorists who were involved in the October 7 massacre were not 16-year-olds. Why do I say 16? Because it was 16 years ago when Hamas took over the Gaza Strip. They were mostly predominantly 20, 25 and upwards. These are terrorists who grew up and, and really were educated by the Palestinian Authority together with UNRWA. UNRWA is an integral part of that, but really on the basis of the curriculum of the Palestinian Authority, which teaches Palestinians to hate Israelis, to consider Israelis as the source of all evil in the world, and then uh, um, then imbues upon them this 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 religious command that in order to serve Allah, you must then act upon uh, um, that hatred and work to destroy the Jews. So part of that played out on the seventh of October with the massacre, obviously. Uh, um, Hamas played an integral part. Another part of, of this danger and of this war is that the Palestinian Authority in Judea and Samaria not only still exists, but there are also those who, as we mentioned yesterday, still consider the Palestinian Authority as a potential actor in, in, in the future of, uh, uh, um, of the Gaza Strip. So we believe that that, uh, um, as we mentioned yesterday, is a non-starter and that the Palestinian Authority as a shell could possibly uh, um, continue on with some practice only if, as an organization, as an institution, it was fundamentally uh, reformed. Now, a uh, uh, um, member of uh, uh, Kalner actually wrote at the beginning of December quite a comprehensive uh, discussion of where we need to go in Judea and Samaria following in the situation, following the massacre, and in order to really avoid a similar occurrence uh, um, really popping up in Judea and Samaria, what we have in Judea and Samaria is a hostile force run by an organization which literally rewards, pays financial rewards for people to murder Jews, um, and that has a 40,000 strong uh, um, police slash 
paramilitary organization slash army that at any given time could turn those weapons against Israel. We know that they don't use the weapons to fight actual terror, which is what they're meant to do. Um, and that many of the uh, of those uh, uh, um, members of the Palestinian security forces are involved in terror actively. And and, and so where is that going? So, uh, um, Member Kressida, Kalna, thank you for joining us. Um, maybe if you can just give us a, a, a little bit of an overview of, um, firstly, uh, if possible, tell us where you're coming from and your activities today. Um, and 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 then give us an overview of 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 the uh, of the article you wrote for our Shiloh, um, so that we can understand really what the the, the different uh, uh, in, in integral parts are. Uh, hello, Maurice. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you for all your uh, things, uh, good things you are doing for uh, for the people of Israel. Um, uh, I'm uh, now. Uh, I, completed uh, a visit in two uh, uh, prisons uh, in the south. Um, it was a tour of uh, the National Security Committee, which I'm uh, a member of. And uh, we, uh, I saw in my eyes uh, these uh, people, the, uh, I don't know if uh, it's the correct term to, to call them people, uh, those who um, committed uh, those uh, crimes uh, in October 7, uh, I, I saw them. I uh, they, they, um, the tour was to, to see uh, uh, how they are, uh, um, uh, what is their, their situation in the, how, uh, the in the prison and the and, and the conditions uh, and so on. Um, uh, they don't uh, get the five uh, um, stars hotel that uh, the uh, 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 in the past uh, uh, terrorists uh, used to get in the, our uh, prisons. Uh, uh, they, uh, um, but uh, <laughs> any condition is uh, too good for them. For for them, uh, uh, on my opinion. But uh, uh, so this uh, this was uh, the. Uh, the uh, the tour that I uh, uh, finished uh, in uh, just uh, five minutes uh, ago, and then uh, now I'm on my way to the north. Uh, I was in the Ziot prison and in Ela prison. Um, about uh, the Palestinian Authority and uh, the situation uh, at all, uh, we. Uh, first of all, we must uh, understand what's the problem. Albert Einstein said that uh, in order to solve a problem, you first of all, um, you need uh, to, 95% uh, uh, of your efforts should be uh, 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 to, uh, to understand what what is the problem to to identify the problem because if you don't know the, uh, if you are not familiar with the problem, uh, you will never uh, get the, you will never find the solution. Uh, and uh, in the last uh, 30 years, uh, at least, uh, we made all possible mistakes. Um, uh, and we need to understand yeah. who are uh, our neighbors, uh, what uh, is uh, their identity, yeah. and uh, what. Uh, and uh, afterwards, maybe we will find a way to. Um, uh, to uh, uh, to live uh, uh, to live to uh, in a sustainable uh, uh, situation. Uh, so uh, and the problem, our problem, uh, is that we think as Western people and not uh, understand the Eastern culture, the Islamic culture, the Arabic culture. Um, in the Western world, uh, the national identity is. Uh, is very strong. Uh, is something is part of our life. Um, uh, there are Italians, uh, French, uh, Britons, uh, um, and uh, other nationalities. Um, but in, uh, and uh, the Western people uh, and also Israel, as part of this uh, culture, uh, tried to um, uh, to force this identity on the Palestinian uh, people, on the Arabs. Uh, first of all, the, all, the whole Palestinian nationality is is fake. Uh, there was no such nationality in the past, and we tried to uh, create uh, uh, such nationality by force. 
uh, such nationality um, because it's not the natural nationality, um, uh, uh, this nationality from the beginning, even before they called themselves the Palestinians, uh, while uh, the Mufti Hajjamin al-Husseini, uh, who was um, uh, Hitler's uh, partner, uh, this nationality is it will never ever accept a Jewish um, Jews in the land of Israel. They will never accept Jewish uh, state uh, in any part of uh, of uh, uh, of uh, Israel. And um, uh, we know that the, such nationality doesn't exist in the, in Judea and Samaria uh, because they uh, we see that there are no. There is no marriage between. Uh, they don't marry one each other. Each other. Uh, uh, Arabs from Tulkarem will never uh, marry someone uh, from uh, Hebron, and, and uh, from Hebron they will never uh, uh, marry someone from Jenin. Their uh, culture is different. They don't have this na nationality, and the whole uh, uh, solution in Oslo that was based on bringing uh, terrorists from uh, Tunis, give them weapon money and um, uh, uh, and uh, to think that they will uh, establish uh, such nationality and this nationality will live in peace with uh, the Jewish people. It was um, a, a, a mistake from the beginning, not a small mistake, a big mistake. Uh, and and uh, this, um, uh, this is what we are paying on. The other nationality that exists in the Arab world uh, is the Islamic nationality, uh, Islamic identity. Um, we see it in, all over the uh, Arab world. Um, and this is a natural nationality. It's a religious nationality. We know that the religious uh, nationality is something that uh, um, also uh, uh, we are, as Jews, we also have a... a, a, a Religious nationality, but uh, our Judaism is uh, is uh, both uh, religious and um, in, uh, again, sorry, religious identity. And uh, but uh, in uh, in Judaism is uh, both uh, uh, religious and uh, uh, nationality, uh, national identity. Uh, in the Arab world, not only in the in, uh, among the Palestinians, but also among the uh, uh, in all other uh, 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 among all other uh, arabs in the world nationality uh, uh, um, in the sense of um, uh, the uh, western nationality doesn't exist it doesn't exist uh, in syria it doesn't exist in iraq it doesn't exist in yemen these are all uh, these countries are poor they are um, um, there are a lot of conflicts there uh, unless uh, a strong dictator uh, controls uh, the state and um, uh, that's because the, this um, um, uh, these uh, states uh, were created by uh, the western world especially by uh, britain and uh, by and in uh, france and um, um, and it's not a natural uh, uh, nationality, uh, national identity. Uh, and the same is, uh, as I explained, in, uh, among the Palestinians. What is the uh, identity of um, the Arab, uh, in the Arab world, a uh, natural identity, is the clan identity, um, the family identity. Uh, we see that uh, states, that are based on uh, uh, on the, on the claims on on families um, uh, are uh, are su successful. We see it in the Emirates. We see it in Morocco. We can see it in Saudi Arabia. Uh, they are, these are not uh, Western uh, uh, states, but they uh, they are. Um, uh, they, they, uh, we, we, but the, these states are not uh, in conflicts with their neighbors. They um, uh, uh, they live uh, in peace, uh, in a peaceful life, uh, and, um, uh, and 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 uh, uh, these are um, 
and much more uh, good places to live in, um, uh, in contrast to Syria and uh, Iraq. To understand the our uh, so uh, from from this point we. Uh, I think we need to, uh, this is the way we need to go with the Palestinians. First of all, after 30 years of uh, Nazi indoctrination and uh, in, the, in Judea and Samaria, uh, uh, after all um, um, things that uh, 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 all, all terror support, terror indoctrination, uh, um, anti-Semitism, that uh, um, uh, that uh, the Palestinian Authority uh, promoted, uh, we need to first of all to uh, find a way to uh, to finish their uh, historical part uh, of this uh, of this uh, authority, Palestinian Authority. Afterwards, we need to um, uh, uh, to. to uh, uh, um, uh, we need a project of uh, denazification in Judea and Samaria, um, um, uh, like uh, it was um, done in uh, Nazi uh, 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 states uh, after World War II, Germany, Japan, Japan, uh, and uh, others. Um, and uh, we need to control we Israel. Need IDF need to control uh, the security, and after these uh, three stages, we can go to the fourth uh, stage that is um, creating uh, local administrations uh, that will be built on the local families, the local uh, uh, claims, um, the identity that is a uh, part that is uh, natural. To the uh, to the local citizens in Jenin, in Ramallah, in Tulkarem, in uh, Kalkilia, in Hebron, in uh, 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 Shem, Nablus, all these places uh, uh, have their own uh, life. Uh, they have their um, uh, their uh, the different identities, and uh, we need to. Um, uh, to work with the local uh, leadership in each places that will be acceptable uh, on uh, will be uh, uh, on uh, on the local uh, population. Um, again, it will not uh, bring us uh, as peace like between uh, Norway, uh, Sweden, Switzerland, and, uh, and uh, or uh, in Europe uh, in the last uh, seventy years. But it will bring stability. Will uh, and we will uh, because the uh, the this identity claim identity is uh, very very strong among the Arabs. I uh, it's um, uh, many many times uh, it's the um, it's the medication against the radical Islam because the the, the Islam uh, by nature. Is against the claims. So Islam was uh, once one caliphate uh, to 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 control the whole world. It doesn't um, recognize uh, different identities. Uh, the different identities, um, uh, not only in uh, in the Arab world, but uh, also in the world uh, at all, uh, in general. Uh, but uh, uh, but in um, uh, but the claim identity is so strong that is uh, it is um, something that uh, even the Islam. Couldn't uh, could, um, uh, take uh, take out uh, uh, from them, uh, even though uh, they are uh, Muslims uh, for uh, uh, something like one thousand and three hundred years. Um, so, so the, I, if I may, uh, 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 Member yeah. Kassikalna, I just want to just un unpack just very very quickly some of that uh, information, just uh, really uh, telegraphically for for some of our audience. Firstly, the history of the Palestinians, um, really, and, and, and of the region of, of, of the Middle East. Most of this region was under the control of the Ottoman Empire for about 400 years, 1517 uh, through 1917, through the end of the First World War. The area was then divided up into artificial states, really cut predominantly on some type of 
uh, um, logic, but not necessarily uh, um, a, a unifying logic. Um, so was created the mandate for Lebanon, the mandate for Syria. Um, that's why in Syria you have the the uh, 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 um, really the, the the Alawi tribe who, who who are a minority in Syria who have been governing Syria for for the last uh, uh, seventy five odd years. Lebanon, the same thing. You never had a separate country called Lebanon. It was created out of um, the ashes of the Ottoman Empire and its borders and its political uh, uh, life uh, um, so created. The same is with Jordan. Um, I, I think people tend to, to assume that the, 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 the countries in this region have, have historical roots, uh, um, almost like Europe and the countries of Europe going back hundreds of years. That's not true. Jordan was carved out of what was originally the entire area of Palestine. It was included in the League of Nations 1922 mandate for Palestine and then separated off pursuant to, to Article 25 of the mandate. And uh, and that's how these countries were formed around this area of the of, of the Middle East. Now, those countries never had any guiding uh, uh, um, uh, uh, position. Uh, um, and, and, and so you often you found um, just one tribe almost who was given the uh, ability to rule the Hashemites uh, in Jordan um, didn't really necessarily reflect the, uh, uh, um, the, 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 the the demographic diversity of that area of Palestine. Um, but the Hashemites were chosen as the local tribal leaders, the strongest local tribal leaders um, that would be able to um, really control that area sufficiently uh, um, under the British mandate. So you have all of these different areas. One of those uh, uh, identities that didn't exist at the time, as uh, uh, as MK uh, uh, Kalna uh, um, quite uh, rightly pointed out, was a Palestinian identity. Um, in the 1920s, Palestinians um, were the Jews that were living in Palestine. Um, they were not the Arabs. Uh, um, the Arabs were considered to be Arab residents of, of, of Palestine. There's a very famous, uh, I'm sure you know uh, uh, MK Kalna, a famous BBC interview with Golda Meir, where yeah. she's asked, well, what's going to happen with the Palestinian Palestinians? She says, well, who are these Palestinians? I'm a Palestinian. I held a passport of a Palestinian passport from 1922 through 1948. When did these separate only Arab identity as Palestinians uh, uh, develop? When were they mentioned in, uh, if you look at uh, uh, um, at a, uh, uh, um, at, at UN records, um, when when w w definitely at the, at the start of the Jewish state in 1948, there's no mention of a separate Palestinian identity in the right. in the 20 odd years between 1948 and 1967. 19 years, there was never one, never one. Uh, I, I I repeat that again, never one UN call on Egypt to uh, uh, to to stop. Uh, um, or to end its illegal occupation of the Gaza Morris, Strip. Morris, Morris, even when uh, the UN decided to divide the land of Israel, it, it called a uh, Jewish state and, uh, and Arab and an state. Arab state. To, not in Palestinian state, because no one knew what uh, uh, it means. Yeah, and, 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 and so the, 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 the Palestinians, as we know, as a, as a national identity, were, were, were created sometime... Uh, um, between uh, the start uh, uh, um, of, of really of, of, of that of that Arab uh, uh, Palestinian national movement uh, um, in, in in the late twenties by Khaj uh, Amin uh, Al Husseini through most probably as a Soviet enterprise with uh, the Egyptian born uh, Yasser Arafat making coming up with his identity in the in the in the early uh, um, to mid sixties uh, as part of the the, again, the proxy war that was going on there between the, the the two superpowers, between Russia on the one hand, the USSR and uh, and, and and America and, and the Western allies, that's when this whole uh, uh, um, Palestinian identity really uh, uh, um, uh, took uh, uh, took shape. Um, now there's this entire group that calls themselves Palestinians, but really, as a, as as M. Kalner, M. K. Kalner said, there isn't much of a joining force. The the the, the people from Ramallah look down on the people uh, uh, from Jenin. They look down on the people from 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 Nablus, from Shechem. Everybody looks down in in, in Jordan, Samaria on 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 the, on, on the Arabs from 
from Hebron, and all of them together collectively look down on uh, uh, um, the Arabs uh, uh, in, 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 in the Gaza Strip. Um, and, and, and so you have, don't really have this unifying uh, force between them until Israel came and uh, really created it and, uh, and gave, it, uh, uh, um, gave it life as part of the Oslo Accords, recognizing the PLO, the Palestine Liberation Organization, an organization created in 1965 before Israel ever took control of Judea and Samaria and, and, and Gaza for the purpose of, re of releasing, of freeing what? Palestine, the rest of Palestine, i.e. destroying Israel. And that organization has never changed. So that's uh, really just unpacking those those points that, that MK uh, uh, Kalna uh, uh, made as part of this idea that we now need to move on and we need to recognize that a, 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 a tremendous part of the problem was the Oslo Accords. They gave us this false sense of um, both security that there is someone who we could rely on that would be a peace partner and would actually fight terrorism, when in reality all we had was a, a, um, another organization that, that rejected peace with Israel, that rejects Israel's right to exist, and now has a 40,000-strong army um, and, and, and that, 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 that's ready at any given moment to turn on us. And so what uh, uh, um, MK Kalna really is suggesting is that we don't wait for, uh, uh, um, I don't know, let's call it the 7th of January, the massacre, God forbid, of the 7th of January, which will be a right. rerun of the 7th of October, but actually that we take actions and, and we take our own uh, destiny into our hands and make that change now. Am I correct in that assessment? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, and, uh... The, uh, our problem uh, is that uh, we are we think that uh, why the situation that was yesterday uh, and the situation uh, we wake we woke up uh, this morning will be the same situation tomorrow morning and this is uh, what we thought uh, also on uh, October 7 and uh, but uh, that uh, it will be uh, the same uh, uh, day as uh, it was uh, uh, the day before but uh, uh, it, it was changed, and the, and the, uh, the army that uh, was built in uh, Gaza attacked us. Where all of the whole conception that uh, they will uh, know, uh, they will uh, never attack us because they will, uh, they might lose uh, uh, all they have and their, their, their economic situation or, um, uh, or other uh, and other things. It uh, it, uh, it it changed immediately because another thing we need to understand is that ideology is something that um, motivate people motivates people uh, not only um, uh, not uh, uh, not only economic and not only not only the economic situation and not uh, only the material situation and uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, this thing, uh, this attack in Judea and Samaria, it's just a matter of time. It can be in one month, it can be in one year, it can be in two years, but it's just a matter of time because the, uh, this uh, the genocide ideology it exists there. They, uh, there is uh, there are maybe uh, there are one and a half uh, 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 generations there that. Uh, uh, that were indoctrinated that uh, killing Jews is uh, a commendable act, and it's just a part. Uh, it's just a, a matter of time uh, until this uh, whole thing will blow up, and we need to be prepared and we need uh, to uh, to remove this uh, danger because uh, 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 we know. Uh, what uh, uh, what are the results uh, uh, what, uh, if we uh, not uh, take uh, an action? And the, 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 this is quite true. I think that really the danger that, that, that the Palestinian Authority as an organization poses to um, the security of Israel is, is, is really very, very, very substantial. Um, if we look at just the, the 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 simple idea uh, of, of of the distance that the, the the terrorists from Gaza traveled, the furthest distance they traveled, they traveled some twenty one kilometers from Gaza uh, 
um, all the way uh, um, to Ofakim. And if we take that same radius around Judea and Samaria, around the Green Line, into Israel, and 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 we look at how many Israelis could possibly be endangered or put in danger by terrorists similarly flooding Israel um, or flooding into Israel inside the Green Line um, and 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 committing the same uh, types of attacks. I think we'd find that there was that there's something in the region of three and a half to four million people who would be right. Israelis, who would be in immediate danger. Yeah, so, uh, so this danger should be uh, removed uh, if we uh, want uh, to exist and if we want to uh, prevent the uh, danger, the same, uh, prevent uh, the, the um, Berry and, and the and the Kfar Gaza kibbutzim. We, if we wanted to uh, prevent uh, such destiny from four million uh, Jews uh, in Israel, because uh, uh, again, w uh, when we say never again, we need to be. Uh, it's not uh, uh, it, it, this. Uh, this uh, words should be meaningful. This sh words should be. Uh, uh, we, we need to, to follow uh, these words and uh, to make uh, the, the never again the, the, that will, it will never again happen again. Uh, uh, this uh, one day of Holocaust that we had uh, on October 7. And that, uh, that's exactly it. And, and as you mentioned, one of the, 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 the fundamental ingredients that have to be changed um, as part of this idea, even if we again leave the the, the shell of uh, the Palestinian Authority and 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 we adopt uh, and possibly some of the terminology of of the U.S. administration that we need a revitalized Palestinian Authority and assume that that means that they um, we discussed it uh, uh, yesterday, uh, uh, M.K. Kalna uh, um, on 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 the war room briefing, um, the, the 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 five or six fundamental changes the need to happen in the Palestinian Authority before it can even be discussed any type of further role. Cancelling entirely, uh, abolishing entirely its pay-for-slay program, um, abolishing all of its uh, incitement hatred, stopping all of the international lawfare attacks on, on, on Israel, making sure that, the, that, that its massive militia, army force, actually fights terror instead of fighting Israelis. And, and one of those in, uh, really critical ingredients, and, 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 and you touched upon it, is the fundamental need to change the education system, to change, to, to go through that process of, 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 of denazification. Um, if we yeah. align what's going on with the, uh, the Palestinian Authority to what happened in Nazi Germany, this, this process of, of entire brainwashing to, to create 3,000 people who can get up in the morning, go across I I I the lines into Israel and and then slaughter babies, men, women, children, rape, uh, pillage, behead. That doesn't happen uh, um, just overnight. That's a product of, uh, uh, um, of, of, of considerable, uh, extensive and, and consistent brainwashing. And that's something that needs to be changed. And maybe here, um, if we could maybe suggest that, that, that this possibly offers an opportunity for um, to really provide more regional cooperation. I, I think... One of the uh, um, the strongest suits of, of, of the JCPA of the Jerusalem Center is our is our outreach to uh, um, regional partners. And if we could consider, for example, bringing in the educational system of the United Arab Emirates, um, which which we know we had a, a, um, we we previously uh, hosted Marcus Sheff from a, um, shop from Impact SE, who gave us really a, a comprehensive breakdown of the di different educational programs. Um, that have been adopted by the different countries in the region, and really the UAE uh, uh, educational program is 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 very progressive. They uh, uh, it includes uh, um, substantial and and accurate descriptions even of the Holocaust uh, um, that are taught to uh, um, the children in the UAE, and 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 really that could possibly be a source of regional cooperation. Replace the the PA curriculum with that of the UAE. We don't have to teach them to be Zionists, but we have to stop teaching them to want to murder Jews. Right, right. That's right. And um, 
Yeah, you are. Uh, I totally agree. I just want uh, to uh, mention another thing that the Palestinian Authority uh, is uh, it's uh, so not uh, natural for the for the uh, the people uh, in Judea and Samaria for the Arab population that it that it controls only by force. Um, um, in uh, when uh, people when the Arabs in Hebron when they want to solve conflicts, they go to the sheikhs in the of uh, the Jabri clan and the Tamimi clan and the Abu Snena clan, and they sit together and they decide. They don't use. They don't go to the, uh, the Palestinian Authority board. They don't appeal uh, to, to the discord. They, 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 they don't. Uh, uh, Abu Mazen is, is himself. Uh, he doesn't uh, leave uh, Ramallah. He, 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 uh, his last visit uh, in, in, uh, in uh, outside Ramallah. I don't remember even when it was and how uh, it was finished. But he knows what uh, the people think about him in all uh, 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 other places. They uh, much more uh, uh, respect the, their, uh, uh, their uh, traditional leadership in all these places than the Palestinian Authority. And um, so, uh, uh, it, 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 again, it means that uh, the Palestinian Authority, the, the only way to control the... Uh, the only way it, it controls is by force and by um, indoctrinating the population to hate uh, us even more than they hate us before. Hated us before it, it, it is by hateness, by uh, uh, and uh, by uh, the, the connection to, to terrorism and uh, again to to uh, to, um, uh, to, uh, to make the uh, the conflict uh, with us uh, to stay forever uh, and never uh, never ever recognize any Jewish uh, uh, nationality uh, in in any uh, part of uh, Israel. That, 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 that's without question too. When uh, um, any of the uh, um, the the public opinion surveys of Palestinian organizations that ask the Palestinian public about their opinions, there is an overwhelming hatred of 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 of, of Fatah of the leading uh, uh, party of the Palestinian Authority. There's an overwhelming and ever growing sense among Palestinians that the Palestinian Authority is more of a burden than it is. A, a, a vehicle for any type of Palestinian uh, uh, um, promotion. And you're right, the, the, the Palestinians within themselves never go to the PA institution, not never, I, I, never is maybe a big word, but, but definitely prefer not to use PA institutions on the understanding. And this we see both from uh, US plans and, and European plans and European documents and, 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 and really everyone who talks about it this fundamental need, even after 30 years, to 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 revamp, to change, to to completely uh, um, rebuild the Palestinian justice system, which doesn't really exist. There there are courts, but they uh, um, are, are are ineffective and and suffer from uh, um, really insipid corruption. And 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 so that 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 whole fabric of a society built by or that was meant to have been built by the Palestinian Authority never really took off because of that uh, uh, corruption and because of that inability to govern. So so that that, that whole clan structure um, really has remained very much intact, even uh, after the passage of 30 years. And with the Palestinian Authority, with Mahmoud Abbas, using really the, the, a base interest and of, of, of hatred of the other as the only uh, uh, um, uh, binding force um, between the, the the different groups, and and that's something which uh, really has been very very clear for a long time. The, the question that I have for you, uh, uh, um, uh, MK Kalner, is uh, and 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 I apologise for the the, the chutzpah question. Um, for 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 many of these years, uh, um, the 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 Likud, your party, has 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 been in charge of the government. We've seen these actions over and over again. I I have been. Uh, um, actively involved for now for many years since I retired from the army um, in 2017 in trying to persuade 
successive governments to halt the massive funding that Israel's government gives to the Palestinian Authority. Without Israel's government, the Palestinian Authority cannot exist. Um, and without that financial support. So what can we do within the understanding, within the Likud, within the governing uh, a party to make this change happen, to ensure that we get to this situation where it's really the, the, the understanding of everyone that the Palestinian Authority is a is, 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 is a is a poisonous institution that shouldn't really have any future. Yeah, um, it, uh, you're completely are completely correct, and uh, we are uh, uh, the Likud is in uh, in governance uh, in the last uh, in the last dozens of years, um, um, and and. Um, but, but we need to understand also that the the whole uh, the whole bureaucracy, the whole administration, the whole concept of uh, uh, of um, of the of the Israel is uh, that um, the, that the, the Palestinian Authority is good. This is what we even now uh, hear from generals from. Uh, uh, she, uh, uh, and other security uh, high officers, and the, this is also the opinion of uh, the world, of the, the international community, community. and uh, the, the big success uh, of uh, Likud is uh, preventing, uh, uh, of uh, Netanyahu, is in preventing uh, a Palestinian state, uh, because if uh, Palestinian state uh, 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 would have existed uh, and uh, uh, our situation uh, uh, now uh, was uh, 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 very, very, very bad and uh, even tragic. Uh, so uh, uh, not uh, we didn't uh, change the, uh, the situation completely as uh, we should uh, have done, but but uh, at least we pre uh, we prevented uh, the danger uh, that uh, the uh, that the leftists wanted uh, 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 to implement. The leftists in Israel wanted uh, until uh, last couple of years, until the October seventh, to uh, to establish Palestinian state, uh, the two state solution. And uh, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the international community. That uh, it was the the only way uh, they saw. Uh, even now, uh, most of them see the situation uh, as um, uh, the the solution for the situation as two state solution. So um, uh, uh, again, you are you are completely correct. And I uh, I I, wa I want. Uh, uh, I wish and I pray that uh, and I'm going to act uh, that now, after October 7, after the disaster uh, and the, the one day of Holocaust uh, that uh, uh, we experienced, now we will change the situation and we will not wait to another uh, catastrophic uh, day uh, or uh, more than that in, uh, in other places. We suffer, we have suffered enough. And enough is enough. We need to uh, remove this danger. So, so I hope, uh, um, uh, truly, uh, uh, M. Kalna, that that is really the the understanding that is really uh, spreading in, in in the government, in Israel's government, uh, um, among all the parties, not only uh, um, in the Likud. Um, that's a discussion which uh, um, really uh, um, I, I, I wish we could have had uh, um, on, on better circumstances, rather than following. Uh, um, the, the October 7 massacre um, and maybe we could have uh, um, done something uh, um, to avert uh, um, really that as you as you so rightly called it that one day Holocaust um, and uh, but but unfortunately this is the situation that we're in um, I just uh, uh, um, just for for our viewers um, you can find I, I referenced before the conference uh, that the JCPA held together with the Bitwanistim, um the IDSF uh, um, on the 4th of September you can find uh, the materials from that conference um, on on the, on the JCPA website. Um, Oslo, look for Oslo at thirty. Um, there's also an entire uh, uh, um, section of articles that were written by 
um, uh, uh, by uh, by different people um, from the JCPA and associated with the JCPA on the subject of Oslo and 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 marking 30 years to Oslo. Um, my uh, uh, um, my unfortunate article and contribution to that was that I wrote about Israel's contribution to the failure of the Oslo Accords, um, and 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 it was really talking about the points where Israel had seen and watched the PLO breach every single one of its uh, uh, commitments and never ever holding them uh, uh, um, responsible. It's uh, uh, equivalent to uh, entering a contract where you buy a house, you pay for that house every day for, for, for 30 years, but you never actually get the house. Uh, um, that's the situation that we were in. Um, but just to wrap up, a, a, a final word from you, uh, uh, MK Kalna. Where do we see, uh, uh, um, what's the positive side? Um, where's the change coming from? Uh, um, and what can we expect in really the, 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 the short-term uh, uh, future? Um, first of all, we know now that uh, the, the Jewish uh, people in Israel, the Israelis, uh, uh, they, uh, uh, they don't believe and they don't want to take uh, rifts like... Uh, they were willing to take uh, 30 years ago. 30 years ago, uh, uh, um, uh, the, the leadership, the political leadership, the security leadership in Israel uh, explained us that uh, uh, Israel is uh, strong enough to take uh, risks and uh, uh, nothing will happen, and the idea is strong, and we are strong, and uh, uh, if uh, they uh, uh, know if, if uh, 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 the, the PLO, the Palestinian Authority, uh, is not going to uh, uh, to uh, to fulfill uh, the agreements, uh, we we can, we can uh, uh, take the situation back uh, to what it was uh, in one minute. minute. And now we understand that the Israelis uh, understand that this is not a situation when you take risks uh, and when you take um, uh, 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 political steps and uh, when you uh, um, create a, 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 a such a, a authorities like the Palestinian Authority uh, and the Hamas and, and, and others, the, uh, the results can be very bad. And now we are paying uh, this. Uh, uh, we are paying for for the steps we took uh, 30 years ago and 20 years ago. Um, so uh, now when we know what uh, are the uh, the dangers, and now uh, I, I think that the Israelis uh, are opened, uh, are, are much more mind open uh, to. Um, uh, uh, to um, uh, to other uh, solutions, to other um, uh, to other policies, except of the the Oslo policy uh, that is uh, threatening uh, is, is threatening the the Palestinian Authority and uh, uh, one with uh, withdraw here and the other in other place. Now we know that we need to be uh, strong. We need to protect ourselves by ourselves. Uh, and we can, uh, and uh, in order to guarantee that uh, things like uh, 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 disasters and the uh, Holocaust days, like uh, October seven, like the massacre on October seven, will uh, never uh, happen again. And um, from uh, and uh, another thing, we can see that the Jewish people, uh, we thirty years ago, uh, Rabin, Prime Minister Rabin, uh, one of. Uh, uh, of the reasons uh, he uh, went to the Oslo Agreement was that he thought that the new generation of the Israelis will uh, not um, have the the, the, uh, the strength and the, the the willing to sacrifice uh, like uh, like it was in his generation. And now we see that we uh, our uh, new generation, uh, our, our uh, youngsters, uh, our youth. Is very very strong. Is very very Zionist. He is willing to sacrifice. Is willing to uh, to protect our uh, country. And from uh, and uh, we can see this uh, spirit. And we can uh, and with this spirit, 
we can uh, protect and, uh, uh, the state of Israel and uh, to ensure it will exist uh, for, for many, many years to come. Let's hope that that uh, becomes a reality and, and really that Israel will uh, um, one day be able to enjoy uh, um, both regional peace and and, and, and and not only that, also internal peace. Um, thank you, uh, uh, Member of Knesset Kalna, for, for joining us and for giving us so much of your valuable time. I hope we haven't uh, uh, taken away uh, too much from your from your uh, uh, from your journey. Um, uh, please uh, keep safe, and and to everyone, to all of our uh, our audience, um, the same thing. Keep safe. Have a, a good weekend. We will be back with you again on Sunday. Um, reminder: tomorrow's Friday, early Shabbat in Israel, so there uh, there's no war in briefing. Um, but we will see you again on Sunday with a, a, an analysis of of really shifting focus to 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 our our northern border and really the the developments that are, are are going on there i didn't say a lot at the beginning of the program um but really what is developing into an even more and more threatening situation with today uh, um rockets and missiles being uh, uh, um fired uh, into akko and the, and the krayot um by the uh, the iranian proxy by hezbollah um and and really quite a, a um a worrying uh, developing situation there so we'll be back with you again on on uh, uh, um on sunday uh, until then have a good shabbat keep safe and uh, 